All right, guys, how you doing? Welcome back to another Hashtag United video. Today is our first ever Hashtag 7 Aside Invitational Tournament. We'll call it the Hashtag 7s. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Not only have we got this content coming up, we've got a few videos from this tournament. We've also got the Hashtag Academy Series 3 coming at you very soon, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss this great quality content. Okay, the teams are going to be made up as follows. Each team is going to have three men's first team players from Hashtag United, two women's first team players. They're also going to have three OGs, original players like myself from the very start of Hashtag. They're going to have a member of staff, including the two managers of the women's and men's team. And of course, two special guests slash friends of the club from the world of YouTube. We've got six teams in total. That is two groups of three teams. The best two teams from each group will make it out to the semi-finals. The two losing teams will play for a wooden spoon. You don't want to be losing that game, guys. Obviously, from there, we'll do the semis and ultimately crown a winner in the final. And there is a decent prize pool in this tournament. Not only are we going to be giving awards to top goal scorer, player of the tournament, and goal of the tournament, the team that finishes in first place will get a prize worth 5000 pounds and second place team is going to get a prize worth two thousand pounds that's going to be made up of cash and vouchers provided by our sponsors decent prize if you ask me our captains for this tournament are jamie jackson aka jacko from the men's team ross gleed from the men's team we've got holly turner and imogen riches from the women's team and myself and seb representing the ogs got a little guard as well today <laughs> I didn't even see that, that's brilliant. A lot Love of people that. have said that before. Um, it feels amazing, great to put the shirt back on. Still fits, surprisingly, just. Um, but yeah, I'm very nervous. There's a lot of good players here, aren't there? What's this? Go on in. Oh, what, one? Oi! Oh, <laughs> we played against Hashtag back in the day, like the OGs, and uh, we lost 7-2. There was a bit where I had the ball in the box and I tried to dribble it out and I tripped over my own feet and Dan Brown scored. But then it's all about the content, so was yeah, I doing sure. it for the edit, sure. purposely? Sure. Maybe. Right. No, I'm looking forward. I mean, there's a few pros. There's a lad, Josh, isn't there? Yeah, Josh. Who plays for us. I've heard all about him. Okay. But, well, I don't know. know how we were doing 7 side, but 11 side is pretty decent. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi, Lou. One and only Phil Martin. You okay, mate? Be back, bro. Yeah. How's it feel? Yeah. Nervous. I'm just happy to be here, mate. I'm so buzzing to be back. <laughs> my legs hurt already. Hammy's probably gone. I haven't kicked the ball in 15 months, so. Wow. Yeah, it's a bit concerning. I just wanted to not get injured today. Same with the That's game. The I'm, um, I'm petrified. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's weird because a lot of people I'm speaking to today, they feel really like worried. I'm like, no, listen, you have some fun. But at the same time, I'm like, if you do There's levels in there. There's oh, levels. Yeah, that makes something you know. Our cameras everywhere. I'm yeah. looking forward to that. It's just so nice to see everyone in there. It's so good. It's good, good, to, get it's out good out to see again. you too, mate. You look well. I've not played in so long, but being here and seeing everybody, I'm just so excited to get out there and start playing again. It's uh, Do you reckon you'll still be able to slip in, get a couple today? Surely. Well, uh, yeah, of course I can. Of course I can. Yeah, it's a pleasure to be selected for today's um, proceedings. How was your journey in? Was it, what was it? So, um, was it good? Was it stressful? Um, let's just say TFO, listen, like, they're still after me. Where you live still, aren't they? Yeah, but, you know, we made it. We're not going to talk about that because it can incriminate me. Like one of the kids said, how old is it? 15? I was like, 20, uh, 20 years old, isn't he? <laughs> no, you got me trousers on. <laughs> Look who's out on a pitch again. <laughs> <laughs> they got me back out here. I thought they saw my soccer performance. I thought I'd never ever get a football call up in my life, but this is the first one since. Hey, the shirt looks good on you, I'll be honest. You know what I mean? It looks good, man. I'm gonna get to hashtag it, man. I done told you already. Yeah? yeah? Well, no, we'll be saying, obviously, Sharky's here. Yeah. We've got Chris MD, we've got Manny. Mm. Got no, there's some good, good, um, Look, listen, good like, creators. A bit of rivalry between everyone, yeah? Yeah, a bit of rivalry, but I'll be honest with you, um, ain't a patch on me. Yeah? Yeah, okay. uh, bar that performance at Soccer Raid, I do actually play football. I'm more of a five-a-side player, yeah, yeah. but um, out of my depth today, I'll be honest. I, I was going to play up top, but then I had I had um, Ryan Adams and Dan Brown on my team. Ooh, I'm going okay. straight to the midfield, or maybe lot, even different. Listen, they'll do a lot of running for you. They are, they were runners. Yeah, I see that. I can feed the ball in though, yeah, look, listen, in behind. Look, look. There you go, look, I see that. Point. Yeah, yeah, I can see it. Can see it. Right, just had yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. 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 No, I can't wait, I'm excited. This could be a, a bit of a shambles. You're going to see anyways. Are you be fit enough, do you reckon, or not? No, I've got no cardio. I haven't done any <laughs> cardio the whole lockdown, so this is going to be a, a disaster. Okay, these are the squads. Imogen Riches had first pick. She's obviously got herself. She's got George Smith, aka Smudger. She has got Ryan O'Rourke and Joe Gregory as her men's first team players. Uh, in the women's side, obviously herself and Maddie Thomas. OG, Charlie Morley, James Stevens, and Conrad Borsey. Uh, friends of the club, Chris MD and Manny. And then Craig Davidson is her staff player of choice. 
I had second pick, and I have got Ryan Cosson, Sam Raj Gill, and Toby Aroma Laren as my men's first team players. I've got AJ, and I've got Charlotte Rutt as women's players. I've got, obviously, myself, ACW, and Daniel Adji as my OGs. Friends of the club, I've gone with James Alcott and Sharky. And then my staff member is our women's club secretary, Sean Eldridge. Seb had third pick. He's got Kean and Hughes Mason, Simon Petty and Joshua Sude as his three men's first team players. He's got Amy Dodds and Georgia Highland as his women's players. Himself, Phil Martin and Tom the Tarantula Jepson is back for the OGs. He's got Thogden and Jackmate as his friends of the club. Devs the Gaffer also in there. And we've also given him an extra player, Thog Dad. Bullet headers incoming. Holly Turner was next. Her team has Anthony Page in goal, Sam Bantic, Danny Smith, the other smudger, as her men's first team players. Herself and Gemma Abella as her women's first team players. Rich Beck, the man mountain, George Valentine and Charlie Armstrong as her OGs. Alfie Indra and Ellis Platten are friends of the club. Jason Stevens, the women's first team gaffer, is her manager. And also Courtney from the women's team is on there as well. Gleedy was next. He's got himself, Lee Hersett and Reese Hewitt as his men's first team players. Carice Adams and Izzy Boyd as his women's players. Tashan Richmond, Aaron Couch and Dave Hopwood as the OGs. Lloyd Griffith and David Vianic are his two friends of the club. Paul Prosser is his staff member, who's the assistant manager of the reserve team. And he's also got the son of the first team gaffer, Ellis Devereaux. Finally, we've got Jacko's team. He's got himself... Triple H, Harry Honesty, and Nate Joseph as his men's first team players. Steph, Patchy, and Jody Osborne from the women's first team. Ryan Adams and Dan Brown and Mange Dog. I think he wins the OG battle with those three. Then he's got Chunks and Cal Freezy as friends of the club. Big names. I'm calling this a selfie squad. We all know Jacko is going for selfies. And then Mikey Rumin, the legendary kit man, is his staff player. So we are underway here. Holly Turner's team in the bibs with an early shot from kickoff. That's not going to be... Amy Dodds, goalkeeper there for Seb's team. Great faces on this pitch already. I can see Thogdad trying to stop the short corner there. Save! Great save, Amy! It's Jason Stevens, the uh, women's gaffer, gets in front of the camera. Phil Martin going up against Rich Beck there. Go on, Joshy! Go on, Joshy! Josh Asude with a shot. Not on target. It's going to be tough to beat Paige on these goals. Rich Beck once again with the ball. Finds Sam Bantic, who could be a problem today. Loves to score goals. Gemma Abella into George Valentine. Nice football here from uh, Holly's team. She'll be happy with her picks, I'm sure. Beck looking for a big switch. Bantic with the control. Fakes the shot. Back on the right foot. Oh, unlucky, unlucky, unlucky. Goal. First goal of the tournament goes to Stan Bantic and Holly Turner's team. Dog Dad on the ball. Goes back to Simon Peddy. Composed defending from the veteran there. But Jack, mate, is an option making a run from the right wing. I've just seen him go off camera there. Thog Dad, little scoop in. I like that. Phil Martin on the ball. Phil back onto his favoured left foot. Deflected. Better! Kin and gets it in space. Reserve team gaffer. Kin and Hughes Mason, but also plays for the first team. So we're counting him as a first team player. His pass has been cut out, though. George Valentine on the ball now. Getting forward for the Oranges. Got Bantic. Inside, looking for the ball. He gets it to Bantic. Quick finish. Second of the game for Bano. 2-0 to Holly's team. Hey, heads up, Purple. Heads up. Heads up. Bano looking dangerous today. He wants goals. He's got the taste. Thogden on the ball. What's he got? Up against Gemma Abella, one of the most gifted midfield players in the women's setup. A switch over to Highland. Keenan fancies a shot. Oh. Page is, is going to be tough to beat Page today. I'm telling you. He fills the goal. He's 16 by 7 foot goals. They're not quite full size. Ball forward here. George Valentine tries to chest it down. Petty's going to get it back. Right, Seb's team. Can we get you up the pitch? Seb is very competitive. He wants to win this. Josh Asude on the turn. Getting past Danny Smith. Danny Smith, good recovery. Petty getting forward though. Back into Asude. Can he get a shot off? Oh, and it's through the legs of Anthony Page. And it's 2-1. Game on. We're back in it, boys and girls. Maybe that's the best way to beat Page. Is, is stick it in between him. Through his legs. Well, Bella's back pass there. Sude pouncing on it. Can the Purples get back in this for Seb? It's Holly's team back on the ball here. Abella passes down the line to Bantic. He's going to keep it in. Oh, and I thought he was going to try and square it to Holly, but he scored from a very tight angle. That's his third of the game. He's a hat-trick hero for Holly. 
Kier's on the ball. Oh, he's been dispossessed. Bannum getting through. Kier's trying to make a late recovery. I think they've taken each other out. I think Kier's has taken out Dodds there. His own goalkeeper, and Bano's put it in the empty net. Another goal for Bano. Sude wants another goal. Over to Highland here. Page will catch that all day. He's gone for a long throw. Devs. Oh, his touch gets away from him. Gaffer won't be happy with that. But Bano's pass is cut out. No, it isn't. George Valentine gets there. Looking for Holly Turner. Holly Turner. I mean, this is a deadly strike force, guys. Turner and Bantic. Are you sure? Seb needs to give his guys a bit of a seeing to it. Oh, Kiernan Hughes Mason. And it is a goal. Sude's put it in for his second of the game. But Kiernan with a lovely little Burkamp esque flick of the ball that came off the post. And Sude put it away. This game's not over yet. Call it four, ref. That'll be fine. Not one off. Devs with the throw in. Patton cuts it out, finds Bano. Kiernan just gets an important foot to it. Finds Stogden on the turn. Nice little turn from Thogden. The Dalton fan, of course. Highland's going to maybe try and deliver it into a Sude looking for a hat trick. We need to watch that back. I think that is a world class save from Anthony Page because that would have been a hat trick for a Sude. What a save. Corner now, though. Ripped in. Sude going for the overhead. Devs hits it. Bounces off his own player. The Tarantula on the left foot. He's got eight legs. Unfortunately, they're all right footed legs. Purple's looking like they might be able to mount a comeback here as Keenan gets past Charlie Armstrong. Puts it over to Highland at the back post. Touch gets away from her. Page gives it to Courtney here. Courtney with a little left-footed pass over to Bano. He's bagging goals left, right and centre at the moment. Ellis Patton's in space on the left. He finds him. First touch, finish. Oh, away days with the goal. And that's tidy. He loves his kits. He loves his goals as well. Well done, Ellis. Another goal for Holly's team. Seeing those feet from Fogden. Looking for Peds. Holly Turner's going to cut it out. Alfie Indra down the line to Holly. There's a decent little connection going on in this orange team. Holly Turner's shot is just over the bar, but they're playing decent stuff. Devs. What's he got? Oh, Devs. Not having his best game. Sorry, Gaffer. Armstrong, what can you do? Peds has come and not won it, though. Charlie Armstrong gives it to Jason Stevens. Alfie Indra, does he fancy a crack? Gets on the right foot. It's gone in, and I'm not sure if it's off Dodds, Charlie Armstrong, or Alfie. I'm not sure who's claiming that one. Jack mate finds Devs. That is a, a sentence I never thought I'd say. And Seb is on the ball. Oh, Sebby. I think that's his first touch of the game. He's come on, he's stood on the ball, and he's on his ass. Sebby, you can do better than that. We saw your hat trick in the no offsides game. More of that, please, Seb. Your team needs it. Meanwhile, Alfie finds Jason Stevens. Lovely save from a Amy Dodds there. Superb save. Maybe not helping her chances of getting in the first team for the women if she's going to stop the gaffer from scoring. Meanwhile, Alfie injury is bursting down the right wing here. Another good save from Dodds. Alfie's got a bit about him, you know. Look at him tracking back as well, trying to tackle Devs. Devs has found Seb, though. Seb, what you got? Holly Turner trying to close him down. Phil Martin gets it. Jack, mate, at the right side of the goal. Is he going to have a shot? Gives it back to Phil Martin. And there it is. Lovely finish from Ledink. What a player. Top, 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 top player. Dodds has given it away, though, here. George Valentine on the ball. Jason Stevens on the inside. Courtney gets it. Jason's still available. Here it is. Stevens on the ball. He's going to have a shot. Oh, and it's gone in. It's gone in. It's another one. For Holly Turner's side, and they're looking like they're going to win this one comfortably now in the end. TJ! Phil! How nice it to see TJ, the Tarantula, and Phil Martin playing together. Seb, fortunately, Peds has put that one very high into the sky here at Bowers and Pitsy. And that is all she wrote. The game is over. It's a win for Holly Turner's team. Seb suffers a defeat. Next up, over to Group B. We're going to see my boys make their debut and me against Gleedy's side. Let's go Purples! Hello, no way. Settle, settle! Calm it down! Sven's already rattled, you can look at, look at him. It weren't far off, was it? It weren't far off. Andy was worried me. I, I've gone out, I think I went Andy, uh, Andy first pick, didn't I? Or was I going Adjie? Yeah, basically, I backed Andy big time. Have a shot, have a shot, trust it. Lloyd Griffith in goal, of course, for Gleedy's team. He'll be looking to put those demons to bed of the 19 goals he conceded 
against Hashtag previously in the Comedians game. How many is he going to concede in this game? But it is Gleedy's team getting forward. Lee Hurst hit with the strike and Andy with a save. That's why I picked him. I'm going to say that after every save he makes, just so you know. James Alcott on the ball for my guys. Adji on the turn. Looking for Sharky. Little known fact, Sharky was actually part of the first Academy series. Not many people know that. James Alcott dispossessed his first team of Reese Hewitt, though. Very good from Alcott. Finds Adji. Easy save for Griffith. And a follow-up from Alcott is saved again. And well looked after from Lloyd. Love his colour combinations today from Lloyd in goal as well. Carice Adams on the ball for Gleedy. Great pick, that is. If you watched that North Sides game, you saw two goals from her, one of which was unbelievable, Jeff. Tashan Richmond in. Le oh, it's David Vianic to the back post. Pulls out. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What a cross from Vuj. Lee hits it on the volley. And Andy Cade Watts makes another save of the highest calibre. Honestly, I was saying to Spen, he's going to be our best player. Can, Absolutely crucial. Oh, he will be. He will be. He, he'll make us win this. If we win this, it's because of him. Couchy. How has Gleedy got all these players in the same team? He's got Couchy. He's got Tash. Oh, my word. Vooj on the ball. Finds Dave Hopwood, another solid player. Sunday League superstar for us, but Andy's going to save that one. Feeling all right. I want to get some minutes in midfield, though. <laughs> Not really a defender. No? Well, we're doing well so far. Just get some speak, goals. Speak to the gaffer. Get yourself up. The yeah, and no, I spoke to him. I said, listen, second half, and to play in the middle of that park. It's a bit empty right now. Yeah. He's a dominating kind of player, so I'm not that guy. <laughs> Big kick from Andy. Still nil nil in this game. Sam Raj Gill is on the pitch. Be careful, because Sam Raj Gill will get you. Look at him go. He glides over this pitch. Can't find Adji. Couchy gets it forward to Gleedy, though. Gleedy with Reese to his right. Finds Reese. Oh, the cross doesn't quite find the intended target, which is actually Ellis Devro, Jay Devs' son at the back post. Straight into the second half now. Again, it's another attempted shot. Come on, Adji. Lloyd's absolutely flown for that one. I don't want to keep seeing these shots from kickoff. Come on. Reshoot it down the line. Couchy gets it. Who's going to win this one? Could we see a draw? Is someone going to get a goal? What's going to happen here? Couchy with what looks like a switch over to Ellis Devro. Lovely little chest down to Lee Hursett. Sean Eldridge is on for my boys. I'm on as well. You can see me there. But neither of us could stop Lee Hurst. He celebrates the goal. And it's a good goal, to be fair. You can't let him get it on his left foot. You've got to show him on his right. What's Elves' that? chest. <laughs> hey, hey, I tell you what, Elves. Andy Carroll up top. That's why he's on. Hey, Elves. Elves. We see you. 1-0 to Gleedy's team. My guys are in trouble. Lloyd Griffith, though, is looking... Very comfortable. High clearance from Reese Hewitt. Great touch from Sam Raj Gill on the right foot. Get in. I'm not supposed to celebrate because I'm a uh, impartial commentator, but yes. Yes, that's a goal. Hey. Balls up in the air. Should I just nod it? No, I'm going to take a touch and I'm going to put it in the corner. Great flick on from me, by the way. One of the most underrated players in the Essex area, if I do say so myself. Gill's going to get it back. Another one of the most underrated players in, in the UK, to be honest. Sam Raj Gill, I love you. Adji, though. Oh, and we're taking the lead. Spendog, a.k.a. the Mullet Gang. That's what we called ourselves. Shout out to my mullet, which is not quite fully there yet, but it's growing every day. We've taken the lead here. Gleedy's team in trouble, but Lee Hurst is a problem for us. We've got to stop him. Ryan Costa needs to get across to Reece Stewart. No, Reece Stewart scores. It's 2 all. This game is going places. Do not take your eyes off it. Do not go to bed. Two all to Desmond. Charlotte Rutt on the ball. Tidy little player. Samraj Gill gets it into me. What can I do? Come on, spend dog. Simple. Keep it simple. I like it. Chabby Alonso would be proud. Gill in to Aji. Can the Purples find what could be a winner at this point in the game? Great link up between Aji and Gill on the left foot. Yes! Superb you. 3 2 to Mullet Gang. Spend dog FC are in the lead. Vianic. Looking for a little switch over to Reese Hewitt. Goes over. Costin said, Reese Hewitt comes out. Oh, I don't like to see that, Reese. Come on now. I want him off, me. Luckily, Andy's okay. Do not injure my star player. Looking for the big kick up to Toby or O'Malaren here. He's going to get hold of it. There's no love lost between these two. It's all friendly banter, but Gleedy and Toby love going head to head. It's all friendly as he gets him up there. Look at this. Honestly, that won't be the last thing we see between those two. Adji finds Sharky. Lovely little bit of shoulder dropping from Sharky. Gleedy could get away here late in the game. Oh, Toby's gone for the Boris Johnson rugby tackle. 
and he might get in trouble with superfan Alfie, a.k.a. the ref Alfie today. Yellow card for Toby, and you can't really blame him for it, although I thought maybe Reece should have got one earlier. Angie! 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 Sharky on the inside. I'm looking for it. Back post. Oh, hell. 25 minutes late. Couchy on the ball here. Is there going to be some late drama? Gleedy. We know what he can do. Little pass into Tashan. Couchy. They're keeping the ball well. Shot. Sean Eldridge is there to block it. Good from you, Sean. Hoppers finds Gleedy, though. Shapes it up for the shot on the left foot. Oh, and it's heartbreak hotel. Oh, three all. What a game, though. What a game. Alfie, how f***ing long was that two minutes? I've taken myself off. I think it's the right thing to do. I've got to, get, I've got to delegate. I've got to delegate responsibility. But they've let me down. They're giving the ball away. Cleedy's getting forward. Oh, no. Could it be a late winner? Looking for Carice Adams at the back post here. Puts it in. Couchy. Andy can't get hold of it. It's all over the place. Someone clear it, please. What a save on the floor from Andy. Comes back to Lee Hurst. Over. Sets all down, everybody. This game is frantic. Cleared by Lloyd. Oh, no. Tash and Richmond could win it for Gleedy's team here. Gleedy's going to get it on the edge. Has he got another goal in his locker? Looking for a 1-2 maybe if Tashan gets the shot off. I was going off target. They're calling for a handball. They're not going to get that today. Costin clears it, and that is it. What a game. It's a three all. Points shared between myself and Gleedy, the two number sixes. So after one game in each group, you can see that Holly Turner's team with three points are top in Group A, whereas Group B has myself and Gleedy's team on one point. On to the next fixtures, please. So next up, we're going to see Holly's team play her second and final game in the group. We're going to see the first game for Immy's team, Imogen Riches, who are in the blue kits here. They've got some great names on display. Charlie Morley, you can see there. George Smith, Manny, Chris MD. What a side Imogen has put together here. Can they beat, though, what was a very impressive Holly Turner team in the orange bibs. I'm not sure because it was looking very convincing from them. Sam Bantic on the ball. They're going to get another shot off and continue where he left off. It's another goal for Bantic. And let me know in the comments below if you're looking forward to seeing this man play for us next season. Manny on the ball. So Immy's team find themselves 1-0 down. They've got plenty of talent on the pitch though to get back in this. George Smith being one of them. Ryan O'Raw hits it. Centre-back getting forward. Pagey saves. Immy, you may have seen her in goal on Soccer AM. In fact, four of the six goalkeepers we have here today have been in goal on Soccer AM. Interesting fact. Chris MD finds George Smith off the post. Big chance for an equaliser there for Team Immy. We've got ages. Ryan O'Raw gets the ball to YouTube's Martin Erdegaard. George Smith onto his left foot. Tidy. Great goal, you. Well done. There's a connection there, you know, between Chris MD and George Smith. Just lovely to see Chris and Manny in a hashtag shirt. Chris did play for hashtag very briefly in Wembley Cup, the most recent Wembley Cup, of course. Manny has played for hashtag before as well, not their first time. Ryan O'Raw fancies a free kick here. I think he's going to hit it, you know, the centre back. He has done. <laughs> One of the goals of the tournament so far. Very sweetly struck as he nonchalantly runs back to his defensive positioning. Great finish. That was a clearance shot as well, wasn't it? <laughs> so maybe the bibs aren't as good as we thought they were. Maybe it's Immy's team's turn to show us what they can do. Oh, that's a good save in the end there from Immy, the captain and goalkeeper of this team. Chris MD is going to go past him all the way over to Maddie Thomas. Getting there, getting there, getting there. Finds Chris MD on an energetic overlap here. Looking for the cross in, cut out by Gemma Abella. Cleared only as far as Morley Pig. Fancies a shot, finds George Smith instead. Good save from Pagey. Left shoulders, Manny. Danny Smith. To Bantic. Gemma Abella over to George Valentine. Loves to cut in from this side. Over eggs that one a little bit, though. Oh, no. They're giving a penalty. I'm not sure about that, but it's a penalty. He's already going down. That's a myth. That's bad, that is. That's really bad. And it's a well-slotted penalty, to be fair. Another goal for Sam Bantic. Bano, sweating it, isn't he? He's, got, he's, he's, he's final, going for it. FA Cup final yeah, for going for it. So he's taking all pens. Every, here he goes, look. Will it be more for the Oranges as we into the second half now? Bano's got options to the left and to the right, but he just he only sees goals. You know, he's got tunnel vision, and that's what you want strikers to have, but I think maybe he should have played a pass there. A lovely little flick on, by the way. 
A lovely little flick on from Ellis Platten to Bano. Already got a goal last game, did away days. Here he is again, trying to turn, but you can't get past Charlie Morley. Manny now getting it to YouTube link up. The skills for Manny finds Joe Gregory. Yeah, That is beautiful, by the way. Young striker for the first team, Joe Gregory scores, but Manny with a, a lovely assist. Bantic rolls his defender. Immy's going to come out for it. Oh, she's got herself caught a little bit. It's still Bano. Can he finish this? Finds Alfie. Indra, who gets himself a goal. <laughs> oh, you love to see it. And the two YouTube friends there, Alfie and Ellis, high-fiving each other there. They're showing they can do their bit. They've both got goals now in this team. I'm, I'm just buzzing to, to be like injury-free, to be honest. Got a little assist, so take that. But then we were, um, uh, we'd already taken two people off. You know, we got like three subs. It's only fair to like bring everyone on. And everyone's sort of looking around like who's the next worst player on the team. And I was like, yeah, I'm a bit tired. Lad. <laughs> just take myself off before someone else does. Great distribution there from Pagin. A great touch from Bano. He's got Platten to his left. But he's going to beat his man, though. Is he going to get the shot off? He's got past Conrad. And it's another goal. Joe Gregory for the Blues. Into George Smith. Can he get them back in it? Found Ryan O'Rourke's already got one goal. Great goal as well. But Bano now is going to get away from his markers. Does he use Jason Stevens in the middle? Foul him! He's looked for him. Stevens! Lovely touch! Oh! Oh, it's magical. The women's gaffer has scored a cheeky little goal. Fair play, to be fair. I rate it. Joe Gregory getting forward here. Can he get himself another goal? Oh, beautiful. Beats Charlie Armstrong. Big save from Pagey, though. Headed away from Alfie, putting his head where it hurts. I love that from Alfie. Gregory trying to hold on to it. Does so, but the shot is saved from Pagey. Alfie's touch just gets away from him. Craig Davison getting involved there, another women's team member of staff. Chris MD running through. Here he is again. Look at him go. Martin Erdegaard in disguise. Finish, Mudge. Oh, what a finish. Another little connection between Chris and George. I'm telling you, we might have to sign Chris up as a number 10 to play behind George Smith for the first team. Devs, what do you think? This is audition tape. He's found Ryan O'Rourke in the box now. Red! Hey! Charlie Armstrong, bless him, is not happy. But I do think that is the right decision. Joe Gregory lining up to take this. A lot of orange bibs between Joe and the goal. And ball ref. And it does its job. The captain, Holly Turner, blocks the shot. Manny gets the corner short. Gives it back to George Smith. Glides past his man. Chris MD trying to get the ball to stick. And there's the final whistle. It's another win for Holly's team, which means she tops the group. She's played her two group games, won them both. They will go through as group winners, which means they'll play runner-up from Group B. The other two teams are going to have to battle it out in the next match. They didn't, they didn't ring us. They disrespected, look at us. They disrespected, disrespected us with the bibs. We turned up with no kit and look at us. In the driving seat. Well done. Meanwhile, the last game of this episode is going to be Gleedy's team versus Jacko's team in the yellow and blue. And what a team it is. Jacko's got Ryan Adams and Dan Brown together, both starting here. Gleedy on the ball. Long ball forward. Oh. Oh, my face. Ellis Devro is a fox in the box, by the way. He's nearly headed that in. The gaffer's been teaching him well. Gleedy. Nice link up here. Lee Hurst trying to hold on to it. Oh, good skills. Find space. Can he get a shot off on the right foot? He's gone a little bit far. Oh, he's gone down. Gone down holding his knee. That looks a painful one. Obviously, he's a player who's suffered with a lot of injuries. I've, dis I've dislocated it before. This one? No, this one's not. I've dislocated it before, but I can bend it. He's going to miss the rest of the tournament as a result of that injury, I'm afraid to say. It's a big blow for Gleedy's team. Ryan Adams to Dan Brown. Oh, I love saying those words again. DB with a hit. Left foot. Lloyd Griffith has been solid. I won't hear anything else said. Very solid from Griffith today. Tash and Richmond. On the left foot, big save from the other keeper. Jacko's also been solid. No one can beat these keepers. We've got the bigger goals in, you know, to give people a chance. Jacko again with the save. Reese Stewart hits the shot. Still trying to get a shot off. Chris Adams with another shot. Jacko with another save. And Ryan Adams is dispossessed. Tashan Richmond finds Dan Brown. The link up is great. It's a one-two, but Lloyd Griffith off his line with the beautiful flick up. Very composed from the goalkeeper. Steph Patchy is going to get this one off the throw-in from Nate Joseph. She gets it back again. Little Cruyff turn there. 
looks for Manji Dog Manji in the past, but Couchy gets there, finds Tashan Richmond. He squeezes it in from a tight angle, and that is the first goal, and it goes to Gleedy's team. Oof. Lloyd gives it short to Reese Stewart. There's an understanding between Lloyd and his defenders. You love to see it, you really do. Tashan. Keeper! Who loves Jacko? And Chunks on the pitch, everybody. We have a wild Chunks on there. He's asked a lot of Mikey the Kit Man there with that pass. I, I thought it was <laughs> Ryan Adams for a second. All I'll say is make sure you watch all these videos because there's a very good chance you'll see some Chunks magic at some point. That's all I'm going to say. Chunks is going to get the ball back for his team here. He's got Mikey, the kit man, inside. Mikey gets it. Maybe looking for a 1-2 with Chunks. Instead, it goes yeah! down. This is beautiful football. All from me. I, don't, I want to be humble, though. <laughs> Chunks, Mikey, and Harry with the finish. It started from me. Oh, wow. Did I just see Reece Hewitt throw that off the back of Steph Patchy's back? She wasn't looking. He threw it off her back and it might lead to a goal and it has. The captain, Ross Glees, scores it, but Reese Hewitt with the innovation from the throw in there. Vianic on the ball. Death Patchy trying to get it off him. Oh, and she's done well and it's fallen to Dan Brown. Can he punish? Chunks on the ball. I thought it was oh, a lovely little chop attempt, but Dave Hopwood just took the ball off Chunks. Ref is drinking alcohol. Nate Joseph getting forward here for Jacko's team, trying to find... A late equaliser. Not a lot of time left here. Gleedy. Oh, a bit too forceful there. The whistle's gone. Yellow card. Yellow card. I talked to the captains about not getting too serious. Gleedy, he doesn't do not serious. Oh, he's not liking that yellow card at all from Alfie. <laughs> wow. Wow, it's all kicking off. Hopwood heads away. Can the yellows find something late? Dan Brown, if anyone's going to do it, it could be him. Ryan Adams hits it instead. Once again, he Lloyd, he doesn't just saves it. He keeps hold of it. Very impressed with Lloyd today. The big kick up towards Tashan. Trying to get control. Very difficult to get Tashan off the ball. Left footed shot. Off target. And there's the whistle. And it's a win for Gleedy's team. Puts them in a great position to get out the group. In fact, I think they're through now, whatever happens. Horrible game, my life. It's all going to come down to my team's game versus Jacko's team in the next episode to see who goes through with Gleedy's team. You can see the league tables here. Holly Turner's team have been the standout performers, but there's one game left in each group, and then there's a wooden spoon. You'll see those games in the next episode, and then, of course, we'll have the semi-finals and the final to crown our champion. Lots still up for grabs. We hope you've enjoyed this first video and our first ever hashtag sevens. If you have, drop a like rating on the video. Subscribe for more. Loads of cool stuff coming. Now we're allowed to play football again. And until next time, don't forget to hashtag it. See you on the next one.